Priestess doesn't know won't hurt her. Priest. Yes, we want a healer. Absolutely. Absolutely, we want a healer. What can you do? 127 slash damage? Reap an enemy in the name of Gone. If the enemy is bloodied or near death, they will receive significantly more damage. Whoa. Restore. Okay. Oh, Interdiction is now a spell. So, unlike the last game, we can't just cast it if we want to. Dazed means they cannot engage enemies. Oh, dude, these effects have super powerful effects on them now. Um, cool. And then, uh, what do you do in this one? AoE health restored. Shaken for foes. That's pretty nice. And burned it. Dude, it comes with the with the effects. Creates a holy field of energy around the priest, dealing burn damage and applying shaken to any vessels. Oh, it's only vessels. Okay. The power of a priest's holy radiance is modified by how well their reputations align with the preferred behaviors of their faith. Where do I track their faith? Hmm. Where is their faith? I don't know where that is. Oh, well, I guess I'd be gone, right? Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Co, the gods are real. You literally sat down and had a conversation with one. They're just not the creators, but the created. Oh, that you know, that's a good point, Winslow Wonder. The gods are real. They're just not. Yeah, that's a good that's a good way to say it. That's a really good way to say it. Okay. Hmm. Right, let's keep going. Yeah. Anything else from you? You watch over her, you hear? That's one of ours whose fate you've taken into your hands. I will. For God's sake, I don't need Nanny and Wangliff. I've reaped more with my two hands than you'll dream in a lifetime. And you've pride in that. Head shaking, she turns to you. Do you see why she needs guarding? You must shield her light. Do not let her lose it or her life. Do you seek a blessing from the light? I would like a blessing, yes. The priestess' entire expression brightens, lit by a holy righteousness. You chose wisely. Endurance is the path to perfection. Hand me your palm. Okay. We'll strengthen your spirit through tribulation. The woman snatches for your wrist with a fervent strength. Her fingers are cold, unrelenting, and tight, but the candle flame that she presses into your skin is white hot, instantly singeing. This flame lacks the flicker of guidance, but it will purify both flesh and soul. Let the pain absolve your sins. Hold your hand over the flame. An acrid smell assaults your nose as smoke curls up from your skin. The pain is a constant jabbing. The tip of the flame needling at your nerves until your fingers begin to shake uncontrollably. And now for the benediction. What I speak, you repeat after me. Godly redeemer and bringer of light, who shepherds his flock through the labyrinth of hell. Though you currently rest in peace, we remain devoted until the time of your revival. We believe in your coming rebirth in the restoration of your holy greatness. And we now beseech you. This hurts, but keep holding your hand over the flame. The fire continues to eat through flesh and muscle, digging into bone. Adair points affably in approval. To banish the shadows of the unfaithful and wash away the sins of our past. Godly redeemer and bringer of light. Now, thankfully, because we're in a party with other people that are religious, we can do this. What's really cool about this game is it combines your party attributes when we do these checks. So no more is it like, oh, I'm not talking to them with the right person. Like, this is good. 
Without so much as a movement from either of you, the flame suddenly snuffs out. Wangleth nods and rubs a glob of wax into the wound. Good. The light accepted you for its host. Go and be well. Walk within the light, and you shall not falter. Cool. That was fun. Happy yeah, it's teamwork. Alive. That's fluff and teamwork. Right. Uh, if we go this way, I want to dare in front. I guess I make as good a target. There we go. That's what I want right there. Okay. Hmm? Great. Save it. Did I get a buff from that? I don't think so. But uh -huh. we got some uh, faction. Can we what talk? can I do you for? I don't think I want fast mode right now. One of your companions wants to talk. Oh, what's up, dude? The children of the Dawn Stars. I wondered if we'd run into them down here. There's someone I used to know. Just a, an old friend. Came out here to settle with them last I heard. Maybe we should ask around. See if she's still out here. Might be she can help us. Just a friend, huh? Oh. <laughs> How do you know her? Oh, uh, well, both grew up in Gilded Vale, same temple. What? You can trust me, you know. All right, all right. We, we used to, uh, you know. <laughs> she was real loud, too. Used to have to cover her mouth or she'd get the dog howling in the next room. Z uh, Zoti's face models bright red, and she turns away, hands covering her eyes. Sounds like a special woman. <laughs> I knew you'd understand. You're gonna like her. I got a good feeling. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. Be right there. I like it. I'm gonna turn off fast mode because I like just walking around in this. This is this is a really pretty world. Hi, Cohen friends. Been watching Great Hidden Ending Run earlier. Hope you're enjoying the game. Obsidian, this is this is fantastic. This is so far, it's it's met and exceeded all of my expectations. Uh, big shout out and thank you to you guys because this is yeah, this is clearly something special. Pretty much everything I liked about PUE One has been improved, um, and and it's I only feel like right. I've seen half of it. I came if here not, on the if, first if ship. Why does an Islander get paid the same as I? They're bigger than you. Oh, no, 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 no. They haul cargo without whining about it. It's not right. I'm going to reload that because I think I messed that up. Um. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, also, Obsidian, I had a quick question. Um, I heard you guys uh, were about $250,000 away from the $4.75 million um rank where you were going to add hunting sea monsters and fishing i was wondering if i if i sent you a check for two hundred fifty thousand, do you think you could go ahead and throw fishing in the game is that is that a thing we could could we do that is it too late for that um i think we could start like a fun a fishing fundraiser or something um i mean granted you know i'd have to sell a kidney or two but you know i, I think it might be worth it I think it might be worth it. Anyway, just just let me know. Just send me, just send me a PM or something, sure. Obsidian. We can talk. We can talk. Okay. Uh, so I don't think we actually right. did anything yet. We I just came up here. here. On the first so ship. I'm gonna I'm gonna do some quick testing. I, as an islander, get paid the same as I. They're bigger than you, and they haul cargo without whining about it. It's not right. Hmm. And check that out. When the conversation ended, they went out of our vision when we didn't move. That's a cool. That's a cool thing. There. Caster Bridge, yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Yeah. All right, who is Henrik? Here you find civilization, Imiko, but outside these walls, the jungle will eat you alive. That is, unless you prepare yourself, ne? A wise and cruel. Right, this is our first look at the shop interface. Okay, looks like a bunch of default weapons. Oh, shattered vengeance. 
accurate, exceptional. 33% chance to apply a stacking curse on the target, increasing their damage received. Oh, and look at all this lore. Very cool. I'm probably not going to read all the lore of every unique we come across, but I'll make sure it gets on the screen for anyone on YouTube that wants to pause it and read it themselves. I will go ahead and read out all the lore of any uniques that we equip on our characters, though. Because this stuff is pretty interesting. Plus 10% healing done, not received, and plus 1 alchemy. That's pretty good. 10% of incoming hits converted to grazes. Cool. Alright, awesome. Oh, and we can retrain, just like in the first one. Great. Retraining, though, does not reclass. They were important to mention that at the beginning. So, we can retrain what the points we've spent are, but we can't, for instance, turn a dare into a rogue, like we had the choice to at the beginning. Fresh fish! Oh, really? Race you to the coral. I have many fish here to trade. I caught them myself. The Amoa grins proudly. Fire kelp, hagfish, silverfin, and cuttlefish. Cool. Oh, you no have a Yeah, what do you use? Oh, you have a couple unique weapons. Zodi's sickle. The sickle was originally forged as a cheap farming implement, but in Zodi's hands, it's a potent weapon. The aspect of Iothas, known as Gon, is often depicted carrying a sickle, with which he reaps what is sown in life, carrying out the cycle of death and rebirth. Okay. In service of Gon, Zodi carries a similar tool, emulating the holy act of reaping. The sickle, while outwardly ordinary, has inherited power from Zoti's strong faith. Nice. And then this, Zoti's lantern. It's a shield, gives light, adds restoration power levels, and plus one of each monk resource per kill? Wait, what? How... How does... How does that work? Put that here. We'll give her the bow to start. Uh, we'll start with that. Um, maybe that's for multi. Oh, we could have multi-classed her, right? We could have multi-classed her. Okay, okay, that makes sense. That what? Makes sense. Just because you have webbed fingers and I can't swim? You are a strange man. Peridot. You are not truly a pirate? You are truly not a pirate? I like that. We're not gonna steal yet. Yet. We'll have to see how stealing works first. Cough, cough. Uh, repair supplies. Okay. Alteria. May have an ulterior motive. Ado. Begging your pardon for the mess, sir. We are still recovering from the storm. Look how good this road looks, by the way. With, like, the water in it and everything. We have supplies here for the paying customer. Provisions for the road, perhaps? Hey, Rosarius23. Good to see you, buddy. Have a look. Hmm. So, boating stuff. This is, like, the boat salesman. Ooh, Death's Maw. Grants death runes? Being near a killed enemy grants temporary damage reduction? Oh, that's cool. Battle worn Grimoire. Whoa. Okay. Ring of minor deflection. Only plus two. Interesting. The the minimum was like plus five in the last one. Strange tablet. Uh what? Yes. Buy it. I, I want it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and read this to you guys real quick. Kalika ba Alicia, suki yi segu nimyun kusu kalaki ba sakuki, suku yi segu salasu. Mi yeke mapan mida yatisu, suki yi shudas sakantun gondolitu, suik yi sedazu, kut kipides ya katiki yini. Right? Am I right? Oh god, I know, they always act that way, don't they? Uh, a little bit racist, but understandable. 
Um, okay, let's go ahead and keep moving. Oh, there's the jail. Getting the dirt plants down. here. More water, nice. A gate. I wonder if we're going to need to stockpile as many resources as we did in the last game, because in this one we can only enchant unique items. So, yeah. I, I, it's going to be interesting. Alright, this is where we're supposed to go, so in classic channel fashion, that will be the last place we go in this town. What marvelous carvings! Oh, yes. This one is many centuries old. Blessed by Ngati herself. Magnificent! Can I talk to you? No, okay. Oh god, there's bones in there. Ooh. You have to do something. Any of us could be next. Oh? I cannot imagine who might wish to harm you, Mestre. Per complanca. Don't tell me you're here to complain, too. The guardsman covers his face with his hands, groaning. Divirus, are they recruiting right off of the docks? You would think the Juana were storming the Kraken's eye as we speak. What's going on? A fight, Mestre. One of the Juana women attacked a merchant. He has come out the worse for it. He jerks a thumb towards the nearby door. Now every nationality in town wets himself in terror of losing his coin to the Almawa. We would bring in the thief, but Clario would not have us march into the village and defend Ikawa. Hmm. Much longer, and I do not think any of us will have a choice in the matter. If you want the details of it, speak to Rinko himself. He will delight in telling you the tale. Darmo makes a sharp, frustrated hand gesture and turns away. Okay. Let's go talk to Rinko and see what's going on here. Co, can you put on X8 MSAA and graphics options? Oh, sure. Oh, it goes up to four. That's weird. High graphics sets it to two. Well, we can try that. There's Tori. Okay, none of this is stealing. Let's go ahead and loot his house. Just like in the last game, we're probably not going to read all the lore. But I'm going to make sure we open all the books, just in case. Ah, uh, don't steal. No. A Valian hat! Uh, I think I think we need a hat, for sure. We need a hat. Stat. Hmm. We need to get a perception, guys, soon. I don't, we haven't found a single hidden, hidden item yet, and that's unacceptable. That is unacceptable. Alright, let's talk to Tori. I'm keeping Papa company till he's better. Uh, who's there? What's up, dude? Tori, is that you? Wait, who are you? The figure in bed is a young Valian man. The first thing you notice is that he seems to have been severely beaten. Uh, one eye is nearly swollen shut, and where his skin is revealed, it is a patchwork of livid bruises. He groans and winces as he props himself up, glaring, uh, glaring up at you with one good eye. I know exactly how he feels. I beat up a lot of folks just the same way. Zoti lifts her chin in interest. Ugh. Come to laugh? Madiko, this would not have stood in Ozia. In Otsia, there'd be a crowd in here to taunt you. Rinko barks a short laugh, then immediately winces. Zoti lifts her chin in interest. I'm not quite sure what this stuff means. Does that mean she's getting that? Maybe you are right. So you are visiting. What do you want? What happened to you? Iswana. They are an unreasonable people. I was enjoying a night of cards when one of them attacked me out of nowhere. I had not spoken a word to her, the mad devil. 
Look what she did to me. My ear. He turns his head and you see there's a scabbed over notch where a chunk of flesh had been torn away from his left ear? Ugh. When the fighting is over, she takes my coin purse and strides away. Bold as anything. Dude, that's awful. Well, clearly you have more compassion than the host of cackling fools that watched the whole thing. Dude, look at the lighting effect of her moving her lantern around. Wow. The governor lets the Juana do as they please, and this is the result. I should be out there, helping to find our people. My wife, Zenetta, she... She is out there, and I... Listen, I am without other means. She took my coin purse, my wages. How am I to pay the governor? How am I to feed my son? That woman should be in the stocks. The guards do nothing. But you... You've heard me out, at least. Do me the kindness of retrieving that coin purse, and I will give you what I can spare. Maybe I can reason with this woman. Where should I start? They call her Mokeha. I imagine she's back in her village, feeling proud of herself, no doubt. Follow the road as it bends north, then west. You can't miss it. A pile of sticks and straw. Hmm. With that, he sags back against the mattress, clearly exhausted. Damn. I'm sure there's more to this story, though. Can we say anything else to Tori? Mama brings me stuff no. from her work sometimes. Real old stuff. We'll have to see, man. Not, not super jazzed about what we've heard about her. Let's poke around this city a little bit more. Oh, are we back at the beginning? Okay. So, let's go check out what's in the Kraken's, Kraken's Eye. Wait, can I talk to these people? Are they marked? May Aethys' no. light okay. shine upon you. Um, great, let's see what's in here. Awesome, more grog. Can never have too much grog. No word from the Animancers? Not a thing. Hmm, okay. Let's see what's in here. Yeah, I, I, I grew up in mispronouncing Kraken as Kraken, and then I only later learned that it was Kraken. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Oh, don't steal now. A giant. Thomas mad. Maybe. There are strange things out there. You cannot think it is really one of the gods. No. But a weapon, perhaps. Merla, I hope not. So, I'm gonna save it real quick. I can look at stuff, right? Yeah, okay. Kraken's Eye. Interesting. Okay. All thieving. We're not gonna do that right now. It looks like the only person we can talk to in here is the bartender. Sorry. We haven't any rooms for you. The rather large man behind the counter glances your way, smiling grimly. Guessing you're the one came in off that shipwreck down south. Not sure if that's good luck or bad, but here, I figure you deserve a drink. He slides a murky pint of ale across the counter towards you. Well, that's nice of him. Nice. Um, oh, can I lower the background music a little bit? Sure. Still kicking, eh? What uh, what's this be? about rooms? We're full up. You aren't the first outsider to turn up looking for a place to stay after their ride off the island ended up at the bottom of the sea. Hmm. Well, tell you what. I've got one room or two have been cleared out by now. Only the occupants decided to outstay his welcome. Real trouble is, he hasn't settled his bill. He's a merchant captain by the name of Galleon. I've given him a fair chance, but he's been a right prick about the whole thing. I've got a spare key here. You chase him and his pals off, and the room's yours. And what if discount. he won't? What if he won't leave willingly? Ah well, he's a prat, but he's not so tough. Smack him around if it comes down to it. But I figure a few sharp words ought to do the trick. I'll see what I can do. I appreciate it truly. 
I'll have someone tidy the place up for you once you're through. Chances are they've spilled ale just about everywhere. But I don't want the man dead, and that's not what I'm paying for. Just see him on his way, and we'll call it done. Still kicking, eh? What'll it be? Any chance you saw the fight between Rinko and Mocha? Mokaha? Mokeho? That'll be the Juana the poor fool got into a dust-up with, I expect. Yeah, I saw it. Made a real mess, they did. The two of them were having a game of cards, far as I oh. could see. Guess things between them soured in a hurry. I kicked the Juana out, had a few men carry what was left of Rinko home. So they were playing against each other. He didn't mention that, did he? Well, yeah. Think maybe Rinko wasn't expecting one of the Juana to know the game so well. He looked real nervous by the end. Do you know him? Well, no more than most. He's a hard man to like, let's say. Came here with the wife, an animancer. One of Odorisi's lot. The governor could tell you more there. Do you know who started the fight? Ah, uh, could have been anything. Rinko doesn't know when to quit talking, and some of those Juana are real serious types. As far as I'm concerned, we owe the storm speaker for keeping the town in one piece. Don't mean I'd invite her people over for tea. Hmm. Sure. Just Let me hope see what you, you don't have. mean to dredge anything up again. Leave the feuding for the blue bloods. Didn't think you had two copper pieces to rub together. No offense. Okay, so we can buy a bunch of food and stuff from him. No rooms. We can buy an adventurer. Okay, cool, great. Perfect. Feel at home there. Still kicking, eh? I'd like to hire Probably some crew be. members. Not much point to that without a ship. Okay. Come by when you've got work to offer and we'll figure something out. Makes sense. Uh, no anyone looking to make some coin? I need someone who can hold their own in a fight. Oh, wait, that's the Folks adventure come thing, come by right? here all the time. Yeah, okay. Still kicking, eh? What'll it be? What can you tell me about Port Maji? Guess you haven't exactly seen the prettier side of the place since you landed, right? It's the only town on the island, if you don't count Sadahuzi, little Juana village out west. Really is a decent place most days. Good trade, and plenty of money rolling in from Claudio's investors. Damn sight quieter than back home, but I don't have to tell you about the Deerwood. Ain't right doing business sober. I could fix that for you. Why call it the Kraken Eye? What else? It was the glory of my fighting years. The beast pulled nearly seven full crews into its belly before it was brought down. I was at the helm that day, and for that, my captain gifted me one of the beast's eyes. Nice, man. Very nice. My proudest moment and my dearest treasure. I would not part with it for all the world. I'm gonna steal it later. Um, <clears throat> Obsidian says, damn, sorry about that. Came in and immediately got called away. It's like we're busy doing something here. Um, well, Obsidian, that's that's probably for the better for all of us. Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of glad you didn't hear what I said in that case. Um, <clears throat> uh, in that case, uh, Obsidian, I just wanted to let you know that I have a large, freshly caught trout with your name on it. If you just felt like maybe adding fishing into the game at some point. And I won't even slap you across the face with it. Like in the IRC days. Um, but regardless, I'm, I'm sure you're busy. So we'll go from there. Do, 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 do. Okay, is this our guy? No, it's a commoner. We don't have time for commoner. Wow, what happened? What happened to the Steve? What did he say? Uh, pfft, wait, what? That was weird. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. Oh, here's Norgand. Ah, a new face. You've heard, of course, that Norgund remains the most reliable and discreet supplier of mostly legitimate wares. Okay. Are you looking for something in particular? Mostly legitimate? I am an honest merchant, sir. But I confess that the tools I supply have an unjustly sinister reputation. 
How my clients decide to use these items is not my responsibility, after all. Lockpicks. Thief's putty. Ooh. Oh, that's expensive. Scorching venom. Oh, man. Okay. Mm. We got stuff to think about. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Uh, let's, do, let's do the red and white. We're going to do the red and white. I need, need that darker. There we go. Oh, that's right. That is so right. Mmm! Looking good. 